What's up everyone, this is Impact DZ, and welcome back to Battle Brothers. We are continuing on our Peasant Militia campaign, and we are doing pretty well. It's day 135, we got some pretty good bros here. Uh, we're going to switch out a helmet here, it's recommended that this would be done, which it does make sense, he does have pretty high stam, and this helmet, he can he can handle that. I don't know what ridiculously high stam is, I'm, I got a pretty good idea on what good, like what baseline you want your health to be at. Usually I try and hover around 80. Uh, I don't know. That's my experience has shown 80 is is plenty of HP to get you get you into the game late. But Stam, I'm not really sure what a decent number would be. Someone in the comments was saying that 94 is ridiculously is a ridiculous amount. And I how much does it take to cost? So 16. So we could swing this. What like three times, three four times before he? Well, not four. Yeah, three four times before he gets. Uh, before, if my math is correct. Probably off by a few numbers. Plus his movement from fatigue as well. Yeah, so again, I don't know really what high stam is. I just keep dumping it into it because I figure the more stam, the more times we can attack. Also, we did have a name change as well. We had a late, uh, we had a late name request. So... We're just starting a new batch of videos, and I was able to put this up right now and get that up. Uh, Kowa, I'm kind of hoping that this name wasn't already taken. He is our newest brother. I don't, I'm not, I'm 99% sure nobody had this brother yet, so I'm hoping. And also, I think Ulfric hasn't been taken yet either. Now, I could be wrong on that. Alright, so we're heading out. We need to sell. Our inventory is full. We got nomads coming out of the wazoo right now. So let's take on these fights. If anything, it'll be just for the experience. Because obviously we're not going to be able to take the inventory that they're going to drop. We're going to take the fight. Again, strictly for the experience. And we can probably unload some of the junk in our inventory. And switch it with these high value uh, weapons. Oh, it's been a few days since I played. I'm a little rusty. It has been a very busy month. Um, what do we want to do here? Do we want to move up? wait until they go. I mean, these guys are moving up, so it wouldn't be a bad thing. We do have adrenaline as well. I mean, these guys are just asking for it anyways. Just sitting there. Oh, there's a tree. I can't go there. I can... Just start bringing you up. Oh, I didn't adrenaline him. Damn it. So he's fleeing. Can still move them up, though. Damn it. Yeah, I want to see what they do. Beautiful. Let's move you up now. God, that whip ability is just so useless against armored targets. At least that's what I've found. Oh, I skipped his turn, damn it. Really want to get rid of him. Get on these guys so he can't flee. Has he gone yet? He hasn't, so we'll just move here. Beautiful. Get 
some bleed on him. There, now he's now he's retreating. Now he's dead. I would run archers. You guys are not in a good good spot right now. Oh man, we just chopped his head off. Good grief. That was <laughs> that was very nice. Very satisfying. Nah, we don't need the dogs. This guy's finished. We can end the round. Yeah, right. Of course he goes first. Come on, give me somebody I can use. Just put him there. Hopefully, there we go. I was really hoping he didn't miss. And so we are full. We're going to drop some items here. This obviously isn't ideal. Like, these clubs can go. Like, all these can go. Take that. This helmet's gonna be... This is gonna be worth a lot. Yeah, we don't need the... F the food would be nice. The tools would be nice as well. That's not going to be worth much because it's so damaged. We'll take the tools. This might not even be worth that much either. It's so damaged. Yeah, I don't think spears are worth a lot. They're not worth as much as these shields. All right, one more armor. Do we want to take the ammunition or the med I mean, it's two medical supplies. It's just not worth it. I will just take the whip. It's okay. All right, now we, we do have more um, nomads here, but we're gonna we're gonna move on. We're not gonna fight that. They'll be there again. What are we getting for? Yeah, see, not great, but it's okay. We're getting four extra gold for that. That's not worth it. That's pretty trash. At least at this stage in the game. Everybody has whips that we want to have whips. We're keeping these man splitters. Man head choppers, sorry. Get rid of all this. All of our crafting supplies that we've been carrying around forever, especially these shimmering ashes. Now we can buy tools because they're super cheap. We'll buy some ammunition because we're a little low. And we need food, because how much food are we eating per day? 38. Good grief. Another military cleaver. We are about to fight undead. We are going to take that. Strictly for the fact that we're going into a lot of undead fights. And I'm just going to swap this out right now just so we have it at 100% when we fight the undead. Is there any more weapons that we would want? Another one right here. We're going to buy it. I know that might seem like a waste of money. I don't really don't know what else we need to buy. I mean, we could buy better armor. Two thirty. What are we rocking? I think we're doing like two ten. 
Like, we could have better armor on some of our guys. That's 4,000 crowns. That's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. Now, so there's an undead fight here and here. That's possibly one here. Yeah, Necromancer's Retreat. And then there's another one over here that was actually given to us by, I think, a, a bar. Uh, rumors actually told us about that. But before we head in there, we're going to need to buy a ton of food and a ton of tools. Considering our men, how much they eat. I'm just coming in here to... Oh, I thought we had a... By orcs. Have... Ugh, we don't have that. Yeah, we'll take the orcs. I thought we already... I must be thinking of the undead... The undead scourge again. All right, well then, we're going in for orcs anyways. Yeah, we'll buy those. This is definitely an investment. But we need to do it. All right, so orcs. Where are the orcs? This is Orcs, if I'm not mistaken. Head Chopper's Grotto. Yeah. We're coming for you now. And we should have that healed up. That weapon. Yeah, so that's 100%. We can swap that back out. Perfect. I'll relax. No need to growl. We know you're here. Oh, perfect. That's why I actually wanted to hit. Alright, all three hits. Good. Now we're just going to end the round. Think about dropping maybe our whips out, but we don't... I don't think we need them for this fight. That's a deadly weapon right there. Haven't seen one of those yet in this playthrough. Ooh, he needs to go before he starts swinging that thing around with impunity. Try and get rid of these berserkers. He's fleeing. We'll take that kill. Got some nice, beautiful XP there. Now, I could go here and have a decent... Uh, a decent spot. This turn's done. Ninety-one percent chance you rolled a ninety-eight. Okay, so he is three. Oh, he's got iron will. So the I've never seen that before. So he has iron will. So everything that we're all his injuries aren't doing anything. Good to know. I would like to kill him. Before he gets a hit off. I don't think I'm going to be able to, though. Do you have Iron Will as well? They all do. A couple 
couple swings and a miss. Your iron will is not going to save you there. 81% chance? Good. Dropping these fools right now. We got to get him some help because he's not in a great spot. Yeah, we can still Adrenaline here. He's not going anywhere right now. And you can move up as well. Alright, so he's dazed. Alright, you're not going to have Iron Will for a cut artery. Or death. Main thing is we got food. Now there might be something else around here. Orc related. Some miners. What is this? Offer it brings you. Sort of a. Whatever it is, Eastern Hold. Yeah, let's dig. Oh, great. Whatever tools are good for the task to get it to the best of their abilities, but barely started to dig when a chunk of um Kalished knocking him out cold. The desired treasure rolls out after him and you come to find it's a rusted and Oh, great. <laughs> that was worth a shot. What is this? A curious shipwreck. Is this something that I want to go into? Or is this something that's going to kill me? <laughs> is this a boss fight? I have no idea. I don't know. With the watermill. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh man. Yeah, let, if we're going in there, let's make sure that we're good to go. As much as we can. Alright, you need adrenaline. Nice rolls. You got four in resolve. I thought you need resolve. And, okay, so bad acid has maxed out. We're going to be going with executioner. So now, now that I've been thinking about this and kind of experimenting with different perks at the later end of their level up, I don't know if Executioner is the best perk to take for boss battles, if that makes sense. Because I'm assuming that they're not going to be taking any damage or any, any injuries. Something like footwork might have been a good good perk instead of Executioner. But again, this, this was all experimental, and yeah, we're going to give him Pathfinder 2. And we're going to stick with what we were doing, because that's what this playthrough was. This is the main goal of, well, not the main goal of this playthrough, but we were experimenting with this perk setup. That's it. 71. Yeah, we'll give you some stam. Yeah, I know footwork is really good. Same with rotation. I used to love... Ro well, I, I like rotation still. I remember my earlier playthroughs, I, I had this on almost everybody. And it, it saved the life of a lot of brothers. This one perk saved the life of count... Saved the lives of countless times for my, for my brothers. Quick hands is, yeah, it's not really something you'd want to put on everybody. So, yeah, that's it. But we are going to wait here. Unfortunately, we are going to wait because of this broken nose. One to four days. Okay, we're not waiting. <laughs> we're not waiting that long. We're just going to wait until these guys are healed up. And then we'll head into the shipwreck. 
15 nomads. What are you guys doing? Well, you're not too far north. They're just blowing through our... Through our food right now. Alright, we'll wait until morning and then we'll head in. It can't be a boss fight. It's a wooden structure... It's a wooden structure, strange, strange as it seems, it looks like a ship. This this can't be a boss fight. Amongst the trees, some which have long since started to grow through it. As far as you are aware, there is neither sea nor river for miles. Bad, bad acid walks up and halts at the very sight. By the gods, it's a ship. You sigh and tell the company to stay here while you and the very observant sellsword take a look. You step into the bowels of the ship. It's completely vacant save for a stump with an axe head chopped into it. Bad acid looks at it. This, there's an axe head nodding. You say there is indeed, but the metal of it carries veins of a sort of golden hue. Getting closer to the stump, you can see ambers fluttering upwards out of the edge. Bad acid taps you on the shoulder and you find him pointing into the dark of the ship. Skeleton, a dead one. Just faintly, you see the pale bones. You draw near. The clothing becomes apparent and readily obvious as royal attire. There's a cracked ale horn in one hand and modded loaf of bread in the other, molded. His jacket is blown open and shredded by splinters. Upon closer inspection, some of the wood is embedded in his brain pan. Okay... Well, I have to inspect it. <laughs> you know, am I am I going to come to this tree and not inspect it? My God, I'm going to lose somebody, aren't I? Seeing how the skeleton and a beer and bread aren't going anywhere, you leave it be. The axe head, however, draws your eye again. Bad acid walks over to the stump and is and the glowing wedge. He tries to take it out, finding no luck there. He angrily steps back and kicks it. The stump cracks, and Twain. And the cell sword suddenly flies upside down, and the axe head shoots through the ceiling, and you can hear it clunk and clatter down the starboard. Debris and smoke drift lazily about. The cell sword gets up and pats himself off. What the hell was that? You slush him. You shush him and point. A little golden goose squats where the stump base used to be. The sheen of the metal grows and swirls. You've heard stories of of a golden goose, but never thought that they were any that they're that they were anything beyond that. We got the golden goose. What the hell is a golden goose? Badass stumbles forward, sir. What are you doing? You wave him off and you pick up the golden goose, holding it in both hands. It feels oddly warm, and it isn't exploding or melting your face. You can feel its metal rippling. Even slightly against your fingers, it might even be glowing. With the treasure safely huddled beneath your elbow, you wonder why the skeleton didn't fare better. Bad Acid walks up and touches a golden goose on his head and quickly recoils, as if it burned him. The cell sword pushes his lip. Really, sir, what is not obvious? He sticks his fingers in his mouth. You tell him not to be so sappy with his commander or be thrown... Or you'll throw the goose at him and see what makes short work of him, as a skeleton did. The man shrugs. Oh, look at the man chosen to be shiny Balbo. Put a blade beneath a wing and you, it caught night ye. Or hell, why not put it on your head and call yourself king already? You look down at the goose, you drop of red blood runs down down its length, turns gold, and drops to the ground with your tiny plank. With a tiny plank. You pick it up and bite it. The gold sloshes satisfyingly in your teeth and you throw it to bad acid. It does not burn him this time and you realize you may have found the genuine golden goose from the tails. I have no idea what, what the hell this is talking about. I'm sorry for my bad reading. I'm like trying to re read this quickly and all this like been like ye and this crazy talk. All right. Well, let's check this out. 
The Golden Goose, what the hell are we doing with this? Generates 15 crowns daily. What? Do I have to give this to somebody? Or is it just... Is it a weapon? <laughs> Do I wear it on my head? No. Worth 3,000 crowns. Interesting. Also, is there... So on each map, is there... I know there's like a certain amount of these random encounters or random places. Like the Golden Shipwreck. Um, what are some of the other ones? Like the Sunken... Not the Sunken Library. There's like something... I don't know. You know what... Like these kind of areas... Is there always the same ones on every map? Or is it randomly generated where, you know, if I started a new map seed, this curious shipwreck wouldn't be there? Or is the curious shipwreck always on the map somewhere? You just have to find it. Or do they randomize which encounters are on each map seed? I don't know. I've never seen this before. So I'm assuming that all these random encounters are randomly generated for each map seed. Alright, we are fighting orcs. Now that we have the golden goose, that'll help with our... With our, um... I'm just looking to see if it said anything about gaining 15 crowns per day. But it doesn't. We are looking for orcs. Three more orc encounters. This is locations controlled by orcs. It's not actually fighting orcs. What is this? Seven? They, I don't know if they'd really want to fight us. Yeah, I was assuming this was going to be held by orcs. We need to move our guys around. To get on this high ground, if we can. Yeah, right. No, we don't want to end the round. I don't know. They're not really coming at us from the south. This is a bad spot. Yeah, they're all coming north. If anything, I want to move up. Move down one. I'm going to go here. Protect our flank. Yeah, we'll move down. Luckily, um, Pathfinder is going to be our friend. I mean, I could just open up this area. We could just leave this area open. He's in a really... This is a really bad tile for them. And I could push him back. I think that's what we're going to do. I need to pull him back to, like, here. And now he can attack this. This is a really bad tile for them. They could push up to these two tiles. We'll see. Just don't see them moving forward on the south side. Alright, so they have officially hit our lines. As annoying as that is. Let's get rid of these stun weapons. Yeah, these guys don't know where to go now. Let's worry about him. His northern flanks a little bit on the hairy side. So that's everybody coming down. 
these guys, their turn's done. They have no option but to come down. So I will move. I will cut off this flank. Yeah, unfortunately, most of our guys are useless. Let's move up. Perfect. Yes. We need to protect these guys up uh, up north. Surprised they're not switching weapons. He's the bigger threat. And he's locked down. He still has to go. He goes in six turns. He's going to move up here somewhere, so we'll just hold this position. Yeah, let's pick on one of them. Let's get you up here. They gotta s They're going to have to swap out weapons before they attack. Come up here and help him out. Beautiful. Yeah, that's it. Lots of good hits here. No morale checks. Alright, who can I kill? Beautiful. We need him to get those... Uh, we need to get him the experience. Get out of here at work. You really think you're getting away? Alright, there's two. Still though, no experience. He's still got a ways to go. Alright, let's continue on trying to find orcs. Good thing we're still getting food while fighting orcs. No, we don't want to fight them. Holy smokes. That's a fight and a half right there. That's... Got a warlord plus two individual ones. That is a crazy fight. See if we can pick some low-hanging fruit before we head into that. What is this? The ancient temple. God. Mausoleum that sticks out of the ground. Just like, is this something that's going to kill our party? I've done this before, and it's not a fight. Yeah, blessed water. And this, what is this used for again? Oh, I forget what the blessed water is used for. Okay, hold on. A flock of birds here in the wild. Hunter comes along. The hunter draws his arrow and yells at you through the pain. Yells at you through in pain. A few birds fly up. The hunter calls them, kills them. More birds fly up. The hunter kills 
more birds fly at him, fly at the sound of him. The hunter is crying and killing. He can hardly mock, knock arrows fast enough and he has to pause to wipe his tears. One bird turns to his friend and says he should go and console the man. What does the bird's friend say in return? I'm going to wash his hands with that blessed uh, water. The voice is silent for a moment, then returns. Correct. Jolting the ancient engineering, the gate slides down and, and the gargoyles lower. And the gargoyle lowers within arm's reach. The vile, rigid guardian standing. There's a vial and holds you close to the monstrous stonework. Well, we got the treasure, did we not? No harm in trying for another. Might as well see. Yeah, might as well. Last file behind the other gate, unsettling one look at... Just by architectural standpoint, there, there are not mere stone bars here, but twisted iron spires scarred with scoria and slag. And the gate is not a chest level at your shin level but at your shins the vial itself is on a further rise meaning you'd have to reach under the wall and then up again to get it the voice returns for me all comes to being for me all shall be in be in the end when man crosses the earth i follow in his footsteps You stand inside, look over at Hedgehog, and he shrugs. Okay, we got the vial. What's... Whoa, what's this? What are you guys? You guys want to help me fight this? Ooh, that would be awesome. If they made their way over there. Okay, so anyways, we have blessed water. I, I just forget what this does. Damage 20 for 3 turns to undead target hit. Ignores armor. Has 33% chance to hit bystanders at the same time. Lowers height level as well. Right. Oh, we got this flail. So 5,100, 3,115. Boom. Yeah, the uh, fatigue is going to be crazy, though. But Franklin's got a lot of it. 30 compared to what? 16. So it's double, double fatigue. Come on, Bloodborne. Bloodbound. Come over here and help me with this fight. No, don't go north. Come over this way. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, keep going. Keep coming. No! No, where are you going? Come on, go south. Come on, come south. Just come south a little bit. Just come south a little bit. Damn it. <laughs> Cowards. I'm going to follow them for a minute and see if they can help me with any other fight. I mean, they're kind of walking in the same area that I would like to go anyways. We're just not uncovering anything. Oh my god, is there nothing up here, really? Oh yeah, you guys want to help me fight this? Is that where they're going? Nope, not yet. Here we... Come on, Bloodborne. There we go. Alright. We got him.
No helmets, eh? Oh, there's... Okay, so they do have some helmets. Just looking at these two guys here, I'm like, what is going on? And they have armor that I want. Let them take the brunt of this. I'd rather them help me with that orc fight. That orc fight is going to be insane. I don't even know if it's at our level right now. The fact that there was two... Well, there was one orc leader and two... Oh, wow, I want that weapon. These guys aren't playing around. Let me help. I kind of feel bad. I can't really go anywhere else. Could go up here. We can adrenaline for next round. God, I want some of them to die so I can take their weapons, hopefully. Stop hitting me and hit the hit the blood bounds. There's nothing I can really do. I mean I could do a round swing. Oh, nice. Thanks for that, by the way. He just hit his own guy with that round swing. I thought that was me. Or not the round swing, the... I think it's just called a swing. Don't know why I can never remember the names of that attack. Boom. Should you take an arrow to the back of the head, maybe? No. Nope. It's really not a good spot. Neither was that, but need to get my men in there. Mr. Flail. you attack somebody else besides me? Yeah, let's try and get rid of him. These guys are causing a lot of damage to Naboo. Where the hell are you going? Now, what would be good? Oh, man. What would be good, maybe, after this is to attack this blood Bloodbound group. 
Now, would that piss off... Would that piss off the faction that hired them? And do we care? And that's the biggest question. Do we care? Just nothing I can really do. Might be able to use him next round. Ooh, he might go down. Yeah, flails and hammers are so good against uh, skeletons. Just hit my own guy. Oh, yeah. The Glorious Defender. That's awesome. That's going to go to our fencer, definitely. Durability as well, yep. Fatigue is low and the protection is high. <laughs> Love that. And it looks cool. Our first legendary weapon, or I guess our first legendary piece of gear, hired by, hired by, who the hell is that? So they're in a southern region. I don't really care about the southern region at all. That might be something we want to do. Can I attack them? I can. That is something we might do on the next episode. That is super tempting. So if you guys want to join me on the next episode, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to everyone later. Have a good day. Bye for now.